Well, happy snaps, but unhappy families. They say they were given the hard sell to sign up for expensive family portrait contracts. Now they're in debt and they want to warn others. Hello, looking for Tiana. Hello. Are you Tiana? Yes. Chris Allen from A Current Affair. Oh. Wondering if we could ask you some questions about some of your unhappy customers. I they can't live on TV right now. They said that they have, uh, feel like they've been misled and deceived. <laughs> How would you describe their sales techniques? Aggressive, manipulative. Slimy, just upsetting, yeah, distressing. It seems to me they're exploiting the vulnerable. I would say I felt duped. Um, I, felt, um, I felt taken for a ride. They each applied to be part of a free photo shoot at this Brisbane studio, something they say they could never normally afford. I felt like my trust had been completely broken. Yeah, we, we'd gone there thinking we'd won a competition. Roxana Ferreira and husband Zine saw an ad to take part in a family photography project on Facebook and jumped at the chance, an email telling them you will receive a complimentary portrait session in our studio along with an 11 by 14 artwork of your choice, valued at $650. They take advantage of the fact that people are um, emotionally invested because not only do you go in there excited that you've won a competition, but you're in there with your family. You think you're there for a fun day. Certainly Gap's promotional videos make it look like lots of fun. And they promoted this as a competition, but do you think it really was a competition? Absolutely not. I think that they contact everyone who signs up. So every child wins a prize. That's right. <laughs> Except Gap is the one who wins the prize. Ellie Green says she was a winner as well, thinking she'd get a professional photo of her partner and their newborn son. That's it, that's all I was hoping for in the session, was just one free photo. So how did Ellie and Roxana end up signing contracts that were going to cost them thousands of dollars? Money they say they don't have and can't afford. Well, it all came down to the hard sell. There's a projector um, that he puts all of your photos on and emotional music plays and you get a slideshow of all of the photos that were taken. But it's very aggressive. They look, if, if you choose this photo uh, to get rid of, it's gonna be deleted, it's gone forever. They, they really make it very high stress. He implied that if I didn't purchase photos from this day that um, my son would not remember me in time. It was just really emotionally distressing. It was really distressing. It's then, the customers say, they get hit with the cost of buying a package of photos. So we'd chosen the photos and it was at that point that the designer told me um, it was going to be around five grand, which was absolutely ridiculous to me. Obviously, I initially said that we simply can't afford this. Um, still in shock that I now needed to pay money for something that I thought I had won. Yeah. Well, clearly you have a lot of unhappy customers, you must be aware of that. Can you leave? It's private property. Well, we're happy to leave, but Thank no you. one will answer these questions for us. Can these people leave? saying they feel they've been duped and misled. Yeah, well, upper management can definitely organise that for you, but obviously we can't, we're just staff. No um, empathy, just really just trying to squeeze whatever money they can out of you. Michelle Martel says she just wanted a photo with her pet dog Elsa. Michelle says the salesman she dealt with was this man, David. And like every customer we spoke to, Michelle says David told her she had to decide on the spot if she wanted a package. Um, I said, can I have a day to decide whether or not um, which photos I would like? I feel like I need a bit of time. And he said, you only have today to decide um, which photos you want. Otherwise, we're going to destroy the photos because of limited storage in our servers. It was going to be $3,000 if we wanted the photos, even on a USB stick. Kira Lynn Turner responded to the free photo shoot promotion to get a snap of her newborn daughter, Kyra. But Kira Lynn says when she couldn't afford to pay for a package, the salesperson got nasty. And so she then went to blow up all the photos into full screen on the projector, individually as she deleted my newborn's photos in front of me, one by one. It felt very, very cruel. I am heartbroken for these people. Joe Yuchukolo is from Consumer Health Service. Handle my complaint. 
this type of selling technique is shameless and it is really playing to people's emotions to get them to sign big contracts. It was just so distressing. I just had to get out. All the customers we spoke to said the process took several hours, increasing the stress. Eventually, Ellie, Roxana and Michelle say to end it, they signed payment plans. So my package was worth about, I think about $5,000, but the way that they'd written it on the invoice, it says it was around $4,600. But if you actually add up everything that they charged me, it was over $5,000. So we initially we were around $5,000 for about four artworks, so um, four of these kinds of prints and six digital prints. Roxana and Zine say they tried to get out of the contract and were told they couldn't, but Gap did reduce the cost to $2,122. For this one print and six digital prints, which they won't receive until they pay the full amount at the end of next year. What makes it worse, Gap are now using this photo to promote their business. That's right, this is the one that they've got looking for um, dads and oh. families. It's quite infuriating actually. Well, I read there are no cancellations, there are no changes and there is no cooling off period and that they're very strict on that. Michelle says she signed up for almost $2,000 worth of photos but managed to get out of the contract when she realised Gap had sent an invoice with mistakes and no ABN number. They shouldn't continue to target people, especially vulnerable people with kids, like families with kids, babies, pets, you know. Ellie says she also tried to cancel her contract. They didn't cancel the order. They told me that I can't cancel it, um, that I was still obligated to make these payments, which was $160 a fortnight. And if I didn't pay them, then I'd have $25 added to my account every single time I didn't pay. Ellie says she froze her account, but not before Gap took out $960. She also complained to Queensland's Office of Fair Trading, which couldn't force Gap to refund her money. A spokesman telling us the OFT is aware of the business Gap Studios and has been in contact with the company. Discussions with them around their business practices are ongoing. Because these customers are signing contracts at the place of business, being the photography studio, they don't need to be offered a 10 day cooling off period. And this company knows that and they're using it to their advantage. So, okay guys, you can leave now. So you take no responsibility for any of these com I'm complaints? Meanwhile, Roxana and Zine say they had to take on extra work to pay off the contract they're locked into and don't want to hang up the one photo they've received. If there's any families out there who see this image and they see it getting advertised, know that it's, it's, it's not us. You know, it's, I mean, it is us, but it's, yeah. we don't promote what Gap Studio stands for. Yeah, and how would you describe their business model? Oh, just atrocious. Thank you. You can stop pointing at me. But you can't tell us. Extremely rude. Well, obviously, a lot of feel, people feel the way that you've treated them is extremely rude. Oh, wow. Well, we approached Gap Studios for comment, but we still haven't received a response.